one, and director John Landis is hot off of directing his two comedy films, Animal House and The Blues Brothers. But now, he is going to pay tribute to the classic Universal Monsters, reinvent the Wolfman story for the modern era, and create one of the all-time greatest werewolf films in the process. So for today's unboxing, we are going to be having a look inside of Arrow Video's new limited edition 4K UHD release of an American werewolf in London. And a quick look at the artwork. It's the exact same artwork that was on the limited edition Blu-ray release from a few years ago. Great artwork by Graham Humphreys. Let me just pop off the J-card. And the back has the same artwork as well, the pentagram from the Slaughtered Lamb. Now let's pop out the contents on the inside. Next up, we've got the case. And on the inside, we've got the UHD disc over on the right, and we have some lobby card reproductions. And of course, let's flip around the artwork to showcase the original theatrical artwork. There we go. Now we have got the booklet. Just going to give you a quick look inside of here. Not going to show you everything, just going to give you an idea of what we've got on the inside. So a bunch of essays, a bunch of behind the scenes photos. And last up, we've got the dull-sided fold-out poster that features Graham Humphrey's artwork on one side and some original theatrical artwork on the opposite side. Now for the bonus features, and there are a lot of them. First, we have the brand new 4K restoration by Arrow Films that was completed using the original camera negative, and it is presented in Dolby Vision and is HDR10 compatible. And while this new presentation did not blow me out of the water, it is a huge improvement even over the great looking Blu-ray, especially in the darks, the lights, and the color pops, especially the yellows and the reds. And you know red is a very, very important color in this movie, and that just bursts off the screen. Then we have the original uncompressed 1.0 mono audio and optional 5.1 DTS HD master audio, optional English subtitles, commentary with Beware the Moon filmmaker Paul Davis, commentary with actors David Naughton and Griffin Dunn, Mark of the Beast, The Legacy of the Universal Werewolf, a feature-length documentary by filmmaker Daniel Griffith, an American filmmaker in London, an interview with John Landis in which he reflects on British cinema and his time working in Britain. I think he's a Jew, The Werewolf's Secret, a video essay by filmmaker John Spear about how Landis' film explores Jewish identity, The Werewolf's Call, Corn Hardy, director of The Hollow and The Nun, chats with writer Simon Ward about their formative experiences with Landis' film, Wares of the Wolf, a featurette looking at some of the original costumes and special effects, Beware the Moon, Paul Davis' acclaimed feature-length documentary on American Werewolf in London, an American Werewolf in Bob's Basement, and Causing a Disturbance, Piccadilly Revisited, two 2008 featurettes by Paul Davis, which I do believe were not included in that original limited edition Blu-ray release, Making an American Werewolf in London, a short archival featurette on the production, an archival interview with John Landis, makeup artist Rick Baker on An American Werewolf in London. The legendary makeup artist discusses his work on the film, I Walked with a Werewolf, an archival interview with Rick Baker about universal horror and its legacy, Casting of the Hand, archival footage from Rick Baker's workshop, outtakes, a storyboard featurette, original trailer, TV, and radio spots, and an extensive image gallery featuring over 200 stills. The film is 97 minutes long, presented in the aspect ratio of a 1.85 to 1, is rated R, and since this is a UHD release, it is region free. And now, let's get this over to my Arrow video shelf so we can wrap up this unboxing video. Hope you found this informative. If you have any questions, be sure to ask them down in the comments below because I will do my best to try and answer them for you. And as always, I will wish you pleasant days and spooky nights. Until next time.